Generals, gentlemen. Hi guys, yeah. So Edge decided that I'm going to be introing this one, and the way he does that, just for those of you who don't know, is he just doesn't speak for like the first five seconds until I realise, hey guys, I'm introing, this is game number two, yes? It's game, game number, number two, two. The, the actual yeah, game number two. two. It turns out we casted game number eight, just because I, I did it the wrong yeah. way up to down, and so we, we're going to refer to game number eight, game number two, but it's actually not. So this is game number two here. We have Rage at the top as our USA Vanilla. And down the bottom we have Size as our China... Something. V vanilla, I think. I'm thinking Vanilla. I think I saw Vanilla at the start. But anyway, this is of course game number two. So Size took the first game, 1-0. There was a GLA Vanilla Mirror that lasted ages. It was a really, really close matchup. So I'll have to see how this game goes. So we'll have Rage just going for the standard Rockaby start, going for a War Factory, and that barracks there. Very, very standard play stuff. It's a nice spy drone as well because he will see what comes out of the War Factory. Not only that, it also means that he has a pretty good idea of if Size goes for the oil cap if he has like a barracks that's sort of facing it and Red Guard walk out. So that's very good spy drone placement. It's probably the best place to put it. Going for the Rockaby coming out now. Not a surprise at all to see. Not at all. So, looks like Size will be going for that command center cell and actually starting to go with that dragon tank. It's not a, not a bad start, I suppose, but it just surprised me a little bit. So, he's of course trying to tank, given yeah. the veteran yeah, on the his vehicles, which is nice to see because if he's trying to vanilla, he probably would just lose. That is true. So, here is the Rock V coming out here of Rage. Or maybe just defensive, I guess, holding it on. And because it looks as though, yeah, Rage does actually see what is coming out. He sees a lot of. The, the Gats, the Flame Tanks, nice micro, we'll take out the Gat, no problem at all. The Flame Tank will be easy pickings afterwards. Yeah, that it will indeed. It's a good micro coming out from Rage. You don't want to get caught out by the Flame Wall. Coming out from Size. Moving in two Gats is nice because two Gats can deal and force off a V. And if you can sneak the Dragon Tank into like a War Factory, for example, that can be fantastic. Firebase on the right and possibly the left as well will prevent some Gatling flanks and Gatling aggression going for Chinook Snuff. Ambo being mixed in for the repair is fantastic and these Rockfees are just trading so effectively against the Flame Tank and the Gats there as the Gatling move on the left hand side does not have the Firebase completed yet. That's very, very crucial. The right hand side though will be fine with the Missile Defender and the Firebase. Yeah, the Firebase is going to force off the Gats quite effectively but the second one might get through because it took out the Missile Defender. Yeah, that's nice. Going for the power. Power Snipe 2 will slow down the production speed of Raid. That's a very nice move. Getting within the minimum range of the Firebase, but getting Laser Locks down and the RPGs, getting both of them, the Laser Lock traveling through the Gatling tank, but the Humvees on the left do snipe down that Flame Tank going for the Barracks and a Paladin tank being mix mixed in. Fantastic from Rage. I like seeing people build tanks. It is indeed. Oh, the Missile Defender gets taken <laughs> out, and so does the Dozer. Clutch moves from size there. So, no, uh, no Command Center. From Rage, he did go for the cell, of course, so taking out that dozer is very, very important. And forcing away the, the Chinook, but he does snipe down one of the Rockfees. They're not sure if it was full or empty. This Rockfee's still there doing some nice carding. The Gatlings are going for the Spy Drones. Have to make sure they micro manually, which they are not able to get that one in the end. Getting very, very low, and that's like, it means that it was probably two or three shots away from going to the red health, where it gets slowed down. Again, Gatling still going, or well, actually, yeah, slowed it down, but the ammo will repair it just fine. Absolutely no issues there, and even more... Uh, uh, Rockbees are going to be coming out from Rage in the middle because, you know, what do we expect from a USA? Makes it that Paladin tank is cool, and I like to see it, yeah. Yeah, the, the good thing about it was because they're... Oh, what? Nice! Oh, TNT! Excellent. Hopefully Rage gets the evac in time, else he will lose his RPGs. Two. Rage, please! Oh, please, Rage. Rage! Oh, goodbye. Catch you later. Uh, Rookie mistake there, defenders. indeed. Gats push it through the left-hand side. Getting the Missile Defender, the Humvee still very low from the earlier engagements. Power Plant being rebuilt. Low Rage power. having a lot of money in the bank because he has no power, so he cannot build at his optimal efficiency. No, he cannot. And just more Gat Spam coming out as well from size. He really wants to try and find these Chinooks. Rage is having so many issues because there's no there's no search and destroy yet, and the, the Gats will finally get sniped down. That Chinook, how close does it come to die? It barely survived. Barely a pixel of HP, but on the right hand saying catching the rock fees out of position may snipe down this Chinook here. No problems at all. Does indeed drops the first Chinook. Chinook's being very expensive, very punishing if you lose those. 
It is indeed. But the gets may secure the fire base, and that would be fantastic because it means it opens up a path into the base. And the pallet, the Crusader, what are they going for? The Crusader is very, very clutch. Despite how low it was, it did survive that one. The repair drone was a fantastic pickup there by Raid Paladin. Definitely paying itself off for now. It is indeed. It's going to be very, very nice taking out those individual gats on the flanks. And here we do have a Rock V push coming out. And uh -oh. Oh, oh, Lotus might be revealed. Lotus will get sniped very, very fast. Excellent timing there. Veteran C2 going towards the Humvee. Going for the oil cap just at the wrong time. So Raid is looking pretty strong. But with the ECMs mixed in, he's going to have... A Excellent engages against the Rockvies, at least until we do see the search and destroy come up, but no strat center just yet. Yeah, you have a very, very hard time. If you get a if you get a bee actually locked down by one of those ECMs, it's so easy for the gats to come through and do a cleanup crew. Oh, that's a nice flank from Rage. Yeah, the gats gonna get caught pretty hardcore. We'll lose one of them, and even the one on the side moves in. Three of those gats just die straight away, giving a fair bit of veteran C across the board. Perfect pins and maneuver coming out from Rage, and now he has a massive army in the middle, and the army of size is off to the side, it's way out of position. But again, these these ECMs will be so crucial, but against four Rockvies and two Ambos, probably won't be enough, and if he does go for the power, that will slow things down. The Humvees with their machine guns doing most of the damage there, as a missile just deflecting so often and killing all of the units there. Lotus too slow, and even then Lotus will get revealed and sniped very, very fast, but going for the cap regardless, wants to lock one of them down. The Lotus does get thrown away once again, gap moving in one at a time, will deny the ambo, but that's just about it. Power goes down. Yeah, power does go down, the gap goes down as well, and now this is a very, very dangerous army from Rage, is going for the prop center, and the ECM locks down a V, no! Missile Defender as well, laser locking them down, within this engagement, hardcore, outnumbering size so much, and the prop center looks as though it will drop soon as more and more rock fees are being produced on the side, and the prop center does fall, that's a huge blow here for size. Massive, massive blow. Now, though, the bees may get caught, but I, I, I very much doubt it. Going to be sniping down the supply just over the top of the actual supplies. Taking out the uh, the dozers now from the looks of things, and size is in some pretty damn serious trouble. Still one dozer left, so good dozer preservation from size. Moving in, may actually catch out the Rockfies out of position. One of them does not get disabled by the ECM, going for the trucks again. And Rage is just doing this very, very well. Nice control and decision making for getting Lotus Cap on the side. That can be quite nice. Look, it's possible to keep him in the game at this point. And look at that. The V's still firing through the lockdown as well. And look, the top gat will get taken out as well by the V just. And now the trucks get sniped. Yeah, Rage definitely having this game. Crusader tank is there to prevent a Gatling flank. Rockvies and more ammos are moving in. He has the Lotus, but he's going to keep losing it to the Humvees. Let's get revealed, but now it's going to be locking down the V continuously. One of the Gats is ready to go. Missile locked already. And look, another V going to be pushing in the side as well. Going to be going for the War Factory, and this is probably going to be the game. The Rock Vs just take out the building so fast. The War Factory was denied by the Rock V killing the Dozer. And this No Search and Destroy is very, very nice kiting there from Ray. He's getting his Strat Center just up now. And the search, search and Destroy will ensure his victory even more so than normal. Yeah, well indeed. Nice evac as well coming out from Rage. Gets the missile defenders out and now you can just keep firing it down that war factory. Lotus can't disable infantry, unfortunately. With her no. feminine charm, it's not quite good enough. Yeah, definitely needs to get the Ari charm. Would be a good choice there. But the League of Legends reference will not save size from Rage's imminent doom to the Crusader and, of course, the Rockvies. And there we go. Size out of this game that is 1-1 one, one now in the best of nine series of course for the for the grand final so good job rage took good control over that game yeah very very nice control it was great aggression from size but rage just held on so well to that one and yeah definitely uh, good across the board here we'll move on to game number three ladies and gentlemen welcome back to game number three of the 2014 zero hour world series between size at the top as the vanilla USA against Rage down the bottom as our Aqua China tank. This is the same matchup in game number two where we saw the reverse size being the USA vanilla, of course, and Rage. Did I say that right? Yes. Rage being the USA vanilla and size being the the China tank. Yes. Yes. That is what I meant to say. Very and nice. Size having pretty much the same sort of spy drone placement. Again, very good for the old Derek scouting there. Yeah, it was indeed. So, 
Rage gonna be. Looks like he's gonna be starting. Cool. Rage won the last. Yes, game. Rage won the last game, which makes a lot more sense now. I'm, I'm actually thinking about it, and we'll see pretty much identical starts as we saw from the last game. War Factory and Barracks coming out of size, and just the double War Factory from Rage. I mean, what else are you gonna do? And it's the exact same positioning as well. Hmm. Yeah, so definitely pretty similar play styles thus far. Who can do it better? Exactly. Who has the micro plays? Hasn't seen any uh, missile defender drops, which is uh, disappointing. I do always love seeing those those nice aggressive plays, as we do see missile defenders being rallied out in front of the war factory. Fairly most standard. Standardly for that Humvee, of course. But look, so far we have we have one one in the series. Size and Rage both picking up their games, and Rage now going for double Gatlings. Not surprising at all. Very very standard start coming out. Looking. Probably for some chin harassment given the first V's only just out. So either going straight down the middle from the looks to try and force off the V with the other one going around the side. So you distract the V, try and take it out and send another one down. And size does see the Gatling coming on the left hand side. Going for the garrison. Won't oh barely. He almost missed that one, but we'll only fire three sh four shots off before the gat's getting out of range. Now his Humvee's gonna be a little bit weaker. He's gonna have to send that away to occupy the left hand flank while the fire base fire protects base. the right hand flank. Exactly the same as what Rage decided to go for So in the, in the previous game. So Rage will be forced off, gonna be nice and conservative and keep his gats alive. Exactly what you wanna see. And that's a, that's a Grisader coming out. That's nice from size to go for those gats. Is good because it means that the Crusader tank will hard counter the Gatling. He doesn't have to micro. With Humvees, you have to really keep an eye on them, and the missile defenders also take a while to build. The Crusaders can be a panic sort of, a, of a oh no, last minute get a Crusader. But even then, he didn't even use the Crusader. He just killed it, the, the Gatling with the Rock V, of course, and three missile defenders in the firebase. So it looks as though we have our first variation from our last game, where Rage only garrisoned one missile defender. Size, of course, has three. Three greater than one in this instance, and moving the Crusader onto the flank there on Tournament Desert is just a fantastic choice. You're not going to move a gat through there. With the Spy Drone as well, you it has a are. fair bit of range, so it means that you can see the flank coming quite a while. It does also scout the barracks on the side, so Size knows that Rage is going for a oil cap of some kind and may move in a Humvee to prevent that. Very, very nice to nice. Stopping those all caps as much as possible is nice. And that's a very, very early tech from Rage. He's got his ECM out. Ridiculously fast, but another Crusader tank on this side here. So Rage going for the prop center a lot faster than what Size did. Going behind the old Derek. Nice juke there from Size. Won't get disabled because of the old Derek. So the Crusader tank and the three Humvees. The Crusader's nice because the Crusader will be able to deal with the ECM because it won't get its shells deflected, whereas, of course, the Rock V obviously will. So it is. it would be very, very nice to have that early ECM out against just Vs, but when there's two Crusaders mixed into that, mixed in, or three Crusaders even mixed in, it can be a pretty big issue, and those Gats are going to get caught. And it means you need more than just mm. Gats, because Gats won't deal with the Paladin suit, Crusaders even, so you need to mix in um, Outposts or Overlords, for example. Flame Tank getting focused and drops quite fast to those. The Crusader does get caught, though, by the ECM, who will eventually, gradually die to the Gatlings. Yeah, it's a, it's a very slow process as they start getting chunked down and get past the armor there. May get caught by the Vs, but no, it looks like uh, Sai's going to play, again, conservative and not just give his game away. And there's an Overlord in the middle as well as a third supply going down. Yeah, that's nice because the Overlord's going to be fantastic against the Crusader tank, but you've got to be careful of the Lazlocks driving into the firebase full of missile defense, getting destroyed, absolutely annihilated. The ECM was not there. And even if it was there, I mean, it, it would have been a bit risky, but definitely throwing that one away, ECM needs to be mixed in with the Gats or they just die. Didn't focus the um, uh, missile defenders either. You can actually focus them inside their little uh, hidey holes inside the firebase, but it looks like Size will be moving in with these Vs in the middle. Just going to go for some poke damage. You've got Search and Destroy. You can do that. That's not an issue. That's a nice snipe as well, and Size was not able to deny the old Derek of Rage actually securing that one, but we'll try and eventually take it down with the Crusader tank, going for the fourth supply in the front as well. Very, very nice. So if Rage can actually hold off, he's going to have a sizable economic advantage. I think 
for him, it'd be good if he could just hold in the middle now. i definitely like to see another ACM. He's only got one. The mix isn't great at the moment. You've got the Gats, but you probably need another ACM in there as well. Yeah, the Overlords are going to be amazing as well because of how long range they have compared to the Rockfies even, despite the Search and Destroy. But Size is really committing to this Crusader playstyle, which is actually quite cool to see. Lotus getting the all Derek cap. Yeah, she will end, but we'll be hunted down by these spy droned up Humvees. So, giving away her life in exchange for an oil cap. The good thing as well is it meant that not only will she get the $1,000 cash rebate almost paying herself off, it means that Size is forced to destroy his own old Derek, old Derek, and that sucks when you don't have a choice but to destroy it, preventing the possibility that Size will capture his own old Derek. I'm not sure if I'm a fan of this Paladin play, uh, the, the Crusader playstyle. It can be nice against the Overlords, especially with those uh, Missile Defenders in there for the Laser Locks. If you can keep them alive, kind of in the back lines, then that's a good way to deal with the Overlords, so... See if that Did you say you are off. a fan? I, I'm not a massive fan of that many Crusaders against Overlords, but I think mixing in the, the Missile Defenders will probably work. Hopefully, if you can keep them alive in the back lines, it's just an interesting kind of idea to have that many Crusaders. It just means that he can really snipe the ECMs. Yeah. The ECMs will just die straight away. And the Overlords will romp through the Crusaders hardcore, but the Missile Defenders, if they have free reign over the Overlords and there's no ECMs... ECMs. The, the, the missile defenders will just just absolutely melt the overlord. So that could be the the the, the micro oh, yeah. style will be crusaders focus the ECMs and then drive them away, and then the missile defenders just just laser lock and destroy the overlord. So we will see rage pushing through, having a fair bit of tank hunters, a good transition as well because those tank hunters are going to be very nice against the crusaders. Yeah, you're moving up to the top now, but there is going to be. Looks like from the looks of things, maybe run Rockfeed. The Rockfeeds are rotating back now for size, and rage may have to back off from this one. Yeah, Rage is slowly pushing forward, and, and I like how Rage is actually creeping those bunkers forwards, because it means that he can't sort of counter-attack with Crusaders. He has to avoid that completely, mm. or take it down with an Avenger for point laser defense. And the issue for size here is, I mean, sure, he's not, he's not losing units. I mean, he could lose a V there, but Rage is on four supplies now. He's been on four supplies for a while, and there's MiGs on the field. Size is just going to fall further and further behind unless he finds a way to actually aggress onto Rage and get some damage down. These MiGs are going to be quite nice against the Missile Defenders. Also going for Tomahawks as well. will give him sieging and will allow him to deal with those uh, bunkers. And Colonel Burton being mixed in is going to be nice against the ECM. MiGs actually dropping their bombing load. But on the right hand side, Gats are moving and getting absolutely melted though by the Rockfies on the side here. The Gatlings may secure the firebase, but look how many of them died for such a little benefit. MiGs are getting a fantastic strike, killing all the missile defenders. Rage not size not splitting up his missile defenders. Crusaders on the side will uh, will stay there and hold their ground. Massive mistake there from size. He lost so many missile defenders there, but some Tomahawk sitting a field. Gonna be nice, but the ECM is still alive. Snipe the ECM. Crusaders on the left hand side, Humvees on the right. This will be the engagement. The missile defenders are uh, in the Humvees doing very lot of damage while the tank busters in the middle forcing away the Crusaders. But the missile defenders on the sides are so powerful without the ECMs. They are indeed. Once the ECMs have gone down, there was only one of them. That was it. There's a lot of missile defenders got taken out earlier though, and the Gats moving in for the power. We're going to have to see Rage back off from this one. Not cost effective in the slightest, and those Tomahawks are going to really pay off for a size. Rage really should have pushed forward whilst the Gatlings were on the flank because it meant that the Humvees killed the Gats and then engaged the Overlords. Had the Overlords pushed at the same time, the Humvees couldn't have gone for either engagement. They could have had to just go for one. Exactly right. So, A-10 strike now uh, coming out. Well, let's see where that's going for. Going for the supply right. by the looks of it and the barracks will be nice. Taking out choice. both of them in the process here. Mixing in a troop crawler is actually a good choice because they're going to be grading as missile defenders and yeah, the Tomahawks and the missile defenders are nice, but the Gatling did actually outrange that one. We're backing off now. The Tomahawks could be nice for dealing with the bunkers as well. And Burton says, can I please have some MiGs on the airfield? That'd be fantastic. I think he's demo charging the, the, the dozer. He is indeed. And it has to be a remote bomb. Otherwise, the Titan bomb will not deny it in time. But the main gun will deny it 99%. Is that the last dozer from Rage? If it is, he's in a lot of trouble. He is indeed. So the Burton is still alive. Oh. The MiGs may land on the airfield. No, he, there's another dozer there. Burton's just going to go for it, though. Can he get there in time? Migs are swooping in to drop their payload. The troop claw is there as well to deny the Burton. The dozer needs to back away from this one. He's driving back into the Burton. What? Burton's, he just, wow. He threw away his last dozer on the side. More Gatlings think maybe an Overlord. 
gets thrown away here. Supply. Yeah. Support. Drop zone is in the back. Is there definitely no... Oh, the mix strike comes in, destroys several Vs. Is there definitely no command center? Well, of course there is. Right. Otherwise, yeah. why would he Why would he yeah. um, build a command center if he already had one? Yeah. So, s Rage in a lot of trouble, not having any more production, and it means that A-10 strikes... And especially gunships will start to snipe down at those buildings. So an incredibly huge misplay from Rage. The MiGs didn't go for the Burton. The mm. Dozer drove back into the Burton. The troop crawler wasn't in position. So it was just a whole bunch of misplays that resulted in Rage losing yeah. his last Dozer. That was, yeah, that is huge. Now, I think Rage is going to have to go on the aggressive. Otherwise, Sizes is just going to scale up from the fact that there's a command sender for him and nothing for Rage. Rage doesn't have any of those supporting powers. And in, as the game gets later and later, Size will just outscale. So here comes the push. Mig getting a nice snipe there. There are the third supplies and the fourth supply. So what uh, what Size should do would be go for the production. Forget about the income. If you can just take out the two factories, then they just can't build anything apart from infantry and MiGs, which won't be enough to deal with it, especially when Pathfinders do hit the field for size. So here we go. He's going to be the engagement. When the Crusaders are in the front line. They're going to be soaking up damage. The MiGs may get caught here. That's a massive blob from size, but that's okay because there's no arty strikes. There's no carpet bombs. And also no new cannons because of the China tank as well. And the, the MiGs may be able to get a nice firestorm. Burton kind of gets some snipes there against the Red Guard and flanking on the right-hand side. I would like to see more ECMs though being mixed in here. Power plant getting sniped as well as some MiGs getting some nice shots onto the Rock Fees, but this will be the engagement. The Gatling's moving onto the side. The Overlord a little bit too far back there. The Gatlings can snipe down the Chinooks incredibly fast. Rage does not want to engage without the Overlord being there. The Overlord's moving up now, but the Missile Defenders are still firing away at the Gats. Really need to take out those Missile Defenders and move the Overlord in. ECM out of position, not able to protect the Gats on the side. Missile Defenders will laser lock down the Gats, but the, Gatling, the Overlord, but the Gatling Cannon too strong, giving a lot of defense. The Paladins, Crusaders rather, are incredibly powerful, forcing off the Gats, but the Overlord is a real machine right now, sniping down all of the Missile Defenders and forcing off those Crusader tanks. Look at that, the mid strikes are coming in as well. But what's this coming out from size? No, that was just the drop for the, the, the... That was just the money drop, and the missile defenders are being taken out by the Gat Turret on top of the Emperor. The Emperor tank is just treading through. Veteran C2 as well, so it will generate its own health, but here come more Crusaders and Arokvies from size. Will it be enough to push through against the ECM Gats, RPGs, and of course the Emperor Overlord Vet 2 ready to go. Pathfinder gets denied. That must be a heroic Overlord quite soon, but the battle still rages on here. Crusaders are dueling quite well against the Gats and yeah. the ECMs. The mids are striking in as well. They're looking for the rest of the bees. That Overlord Whoa. is still alive. The ECM Micro has been so clutch. There's still ECMs alive and the Gats are hitting the field, but now the Overlord gets taken up with the A-10 strike. Nice engagement there from size. Taking out the Overlord means the Missile Defenders will be able to laser lock down the Gats without being camped on the barracks. MiGs are being denied by the Tau Missiles of the Rockviz. Lotus is still there from Rage. Next, next needs to start capping down the buildings. Looks like Rage is just committing to everything he's got. He needs all these units out. He doesn't have any doses anymore. It's going to come down to these pushes. Lotus gets revealed and taken out. Very, very crucial work. Otherwise, Rage may have been able to snipe down and capture some of those building missile defenders on the side, but against heroic Gats, or rather veteran Gats, won't be too cost effective there. The Crusaders are still kiting quite well with the search and destroy that is still up and running. Another Vet 2 Emperor Overlord, though very, very cost efficient. Rockfiends behind the War Factory won't be able to get their long range missile defender snipes. Their Gatlings are destroying the Chinooks. Gatlings are shredding them as dead, and the Emperor Overlord has a line on the Humvees and Size calls the GG. Size just having too much firepower, too much of a huge army to take Size out of the game in time for the Dozer Snipe to pay off. So nice play there from Rage, having a huge economic lead. Look, I mean, going for the Crusaders, it, it didn't allow Size to really punish the third and fourth supply. It's a very yeah. defensive play style. Um... Yeah, I think Rage just had those supplies for too long, and it just obviously gave him the spam he needed to take size out of this game. Yeah, and that was just so important. Rage realized, I have no dozers, no command center, push now, and he had everything, and he just pushed, kept producing units, and that's how he won the game, because he used the economic lead that he had to just push out and beat size, despite size, you know, having the better plays and taking out both of the dozers with that Burton. Yeah, and the A-10 had to go for the Emperor Overlord and not for the War Factory, yeah. like a really, really desperation move there. 
you know, had he gone for the war field, it, war factory, it would have halved the production, but then he would have had an emperor overlord in his base but killing he couldn't everything. Deal with it. Couldn't <laughs> yeah, deal with exactly. It. So well played there from Rage, and let's move on to game number four. Awesome. 